morning. And welcome to St. Joseph's Parish on this, the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. As we mark this World Mission Sunday with the theme, Mission at the Heart of the Gospel, we pray that all Christians, by their way of life, will give witness to Jesus Christ. Please join in our entrance song, number 727, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, number 721. Is the scepter, is the throne. Alleluia, is the triumph, is the victory alone. Hark the songs of peaceful Zion. Thunder like a mighty flood, Jesus out of every nation hath redeemed us by his blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we come to pray, we ask for God's mercy and God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Lord, mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you. We bless you. you. We, we adore you. you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The children would come forth. God's blessing on our catechist and these children as they open God's word.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. glory among the nations, among all people his wondrous deeds. Give the Lord glory and honor, for great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give to the Lord, you families of nations, give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Sylvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Hallelujah. 
like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that, he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. They say it was uh, Benjamin Franklin who first said these famous words that have become an infamous quote that every one of you has heard once or twice. There are two things in life that we have to do. What are they? Pay taxes and die, okay? Now some people may think they can get out of paying taxes, but they ain't getting out on the other end, we will all die. You know, although every attempt has been made, people just don't like to pay taxes. Do some of you remember Arthur Godfrey? Arthur Godfrey said, I'm proud to be paying taxes in the United States. The only thing is I could be just as proud if I paid half. <laughs> and Will Rogers said that income tax has made more liars out of American people than golf. <laughs> and an IRS director said, the difference between a tax collector and a taxidermist is that the taxidermist leaves the hide. <laughs> Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. You know, the Pharisees and everyone at the time of Jesus had to use the Roman coins. They had no choice. It's with those Roman coins that were marked with the emperor's face, who was considered a deity, that they had to pay taxes, they had to pay their own personal things, and to do trading with those coins. It was part of the empire's dominion. Jesus surely understood that. He knew from the get-go that the Pharisees were trying to trap him. The census tax and the coin represent nothing about what Jesus wanted to teach. You know, it was obvious that the Pharisees presented this question. They obviously did not take Jesus seriously. They have observed him now for three years, listened to him, and watched his marvelous work, and they still did not get it. At this point in Matthew's Gospel, Jesus is on his last days. He has entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, 
We heard the event a couple weeks ago about going into the temple and tearing up the tables and chasing those people out who were selling. And now the public have heard him and they still don't get it. I, I hope that we are getting it more and more and more. Jesus did not come into the world to, to discuss tax policies or play politics. He did not suffer death and the cross and the glory of resurrection to reorder international boundaries. His mission was to save people from sin. His mission was to bring us to heaven. No matter where we lived, no matter what language we spoke, no matter what currency we used, or what government we lived under or suffered under. Now, obviously, serious Christians cannot ignore the plight of those who suffer, but all of us deal with things of Caesar. Let's see if you understand what I mean by that. We all have to deal with things of government and culture, the, the, the guidance of our state. But I would like us for a minute to think about that coin that Jesus held in his hand in a different way. He held the coin that he gives each of us at baptism. You all got one. And that coin has an opportunity to gain interest for years. And it literally is a coin heads and tails and joys and sorrow and death and life and consolation and obligations, but it is the coin that pays the admission into the kingdom that was promised us from the beginning of the world. At the end, it's the only thing that counts. A parable. A wise old woman happened to be a pianist who had taught many students over the years. Invariably, when she prepared her students for recitals, she would have them practice the conclusions over and over again. Invariably, the students would begin to grumble because of the constant repetition of the last few measures of music. And when one student would voice their complaint, the wise teacher would always answer, you can make a mistake in the beginning, or maybe one in the middle, but people will forget if you have a glorious ending. We, we are sinners, we make mistakes, but we need this glorious ending. So we need to give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, but to God, the things that are God's. Amen. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We raise our prayers and our petitions. We ask our God to hear us. We pray for Pope Francis, who shows us by his own life how we also are called on mission to show the gospel of Jesus to others through the sincerity of our words, the generosity of our actions, and the devotion of our prayers. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for missionaries around the world that their lives will radiate the joy of the gospel so that they can reveal the attractiveness of Jesus to those among whom they live and work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the safety and favorable weather for the harvesting of crops. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that families will strive to make their homes places where children can hear God call them by name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that all who come to this table be nourished with love, especially those who live alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the people of our parishes and those who are being remembered in this Mass who have died. Orville, Lynn, Lavon Rowling, Cletus Kilberg, Sylvester and Esther Deppey, and the living and deceased members of the Arnold and Clara Sinus and the Peter and Clara Mickles families, that they may know the fulfillment of God's promise of eternal life and everlasting joy, and for Randy Stilmokas and Thomas Mickles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God the Father, hear our prayer. Hear us, God the Son. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people. Our song for the preparation of gifts this morning is number 390, Open My Eyes, number 390.
Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my gifts and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, said the blessing, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop. Remember our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion song is number 324, Gift of Finest Sweet, number 324. Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Is not the cup we bless and share the blood of Christ outpoured. Do not one cup, one loaf declare our oneness in the Lord. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Please join us in singing number 346, Spirit and Grace, number 346. Spirit and grace, here in this meal, you are the wind that breathes through the field. Gather the wheat and form us in Christ. Come be our source and breath of life. In the bread blessed, broken, and shared, Christ is our life, whose presence we bear. Come, O Spirit, make your grace revealed in this holy meal. Spirit and grace here in this meal, 
You are the life that flows through the vine. Gather this drink and form us in Christ. Come be our source and blood of life. In the bread, blessed, broken, and shared, Christ is our life, whose presence we bear. Come, O Spirit, make your grace revealed in this holy As we continue the month of the Rosary, the Beechamps will be praying it for us this week in their home. <clears throat> Thank you. God bless you. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from the participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepare for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. A few announcements this morning. First of all, the Rosary Society dues are going to be collected after Mass today. All junior high students are invited to the epic meeting after Mass today until 2 p.m. in the St. Joseph's Rectory basement. The NCYC meeting will take place in the MEC today after Mass. And as we go forth, let us sing together number 193. Now thank we all our God, number 193. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices. Who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices. Who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. Oh, may this gracious God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us preserve us in his grace and guide us in distress, full and free us from all sin, till